my camera didn't even record. So let's try this again. Before we get started, I just want to say that this trailer is in no way to disrespect or disregard or make light of the amazing special that is Bo Burnham's Inside. This is, just like all my other trailers, just a rehashing, a re-editing of an existing medium transformed into a whole new genre. This one being horror. And with that, on to the trailer. Enjoy! Hi, welcome to whatever this is. I've decided to try to make a new special for real. It's not gonna be a normal special. It's just me and my camera alone. And however long it takes to finish. I'm not talking to anybody right now, I'm just talking to myself. Are you going to behave yourself? And a warning, the special is going to be a little all over the place. I've learned the outside world will kill you. I'm just going to sit here forever, I think. I don't want to kill myself. And I'm not going to kill myself. That's not good. I feel okay when I'm asleep. What do I do? That I'm never going to finish this special and I'm going to be working on it forever. That has made me completely freak out. So I've been working on this special for a year. And so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, great. My mental health is rapidly approaching an all-time low. Similar to a constant state of sleep paralysis. I'm going to work on this forever and I'm never going to release it. All human interaction should be contained in a much more real digital space. I want this to stop. Look, I want this to stop. I'm, I'm stopping this. I hope you enjoy it. Tutorials, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Editing is everything. So that wraps up this week's trailer. Bo Burnham's Inside reimagined as a horror movie. Surprise! <laughs> Here's a single genre trailer. I told y'all I was gonna upload whenever I wanted to upload, whatever I felt I was finished with the trailer, whenever I had time, and I definitely had time for this. <laughs> Originally, I wasn't even thinking about transforming or editing inside into any genres. Hell, when I first watched it, I thought it was absolute perfection. I had no intention on re-editing it, creating it into something brand new, as I usually do on, on this channel. <laughs> but when my really good friends sent me a TikTok of someone re-editing Inside into a horror movie, and I'm like, this is my time to shine. The time is now. I must do it now. I only watched it once because I didn't want to fully copy it, but I did draw some influence and inspiration from it. And I want to give a big shout out to Thomas Flight on TikTok talk and on YouTube for making this and for inspiring my trailer. Go watch his video. It is great. Thank you, Thomas Flight, for inspiring me to create my own version of this because I love transforming movies and shows into different genres, especially horror. Horror is my favorite. I mean, just re-editing Inside into Bo literally not finishing this special and he actually never releases it, so it's found footage and it's just this downward spiral of his insanity from being trapped inside. It's so creepy, it's intense, it's eerie, it's very unsettling. And I love that about a horror movie, when it just gets under your skin. I love it. <laughs> Literally everything with the right editing, right color correction, the right music or lack thereof music can be turned into horror. Also, I've said this before, and I should probably make a shirt on it, just because a movie scared you as a kid does not make it a horror movie. And would you believe me if I told you that immediately after I watched that TikTok, I sat down here and I started editing the trailer and I finished it in one day. <laughs> 
That's only happened just a couple of times. I was non-stop editing for like seven hours. Done. I mean, I am kind of a fast editor, but even I wasn't expecting to make it in that short amount of time. And I am so glad I did. Mwah. I love it. Oh, it's, uh, it's just so good. And speaking of so good, who? My goodness. Holy cow. Cursed cow. What the fuck? <laughs> Bowen Burnham's inside is literally one of my favorite things ever right now. Uh. Like, I watched it almost two months ago, and I literally still have not stopped thinking about it. I've seen Inside ten times. I've listened to the album so many times. Inside is so good. It is just a masterpiece. It is a work of genius, a work of art, a work of heart, a work of pain, a work of anxiety. Countless hours, days, weeks, months, a year of this amazing work. The incredible mind that Bo Burnham has is like, I wish I was half as creative as he is. I've been a long time Bo Burnham fan. I loved him on Vine. I remember watching his special What on Netflix when it came out. He's hilarious. He's, he's so good. And Inside is definitely his magnum opus. It just means so much to me, so much to so many people, so much to me as a creative, as an editor, as an introvert, as someone who stays inside a lot, as someone who is literally the only person who works on my stuff. There is no I in team, but there is an I in Danny. <laughs> I'm not gonna gush about it here, but you can listen to me and my friend Tyler Carlin on his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, a movie lover's podcast, gush about inside for two hours. <laughs> I'll leave a link down below, and if I can, can leave a link right here maybe i don't know if you can put podcasts here but go listen to it it's just us just geeking out deciphering all the deeper meanings ranking the songs really relating to this there's a few mind blown moments in there <laughs> um yeah so go, go check that out i feel like i've been gushing about this for so long ever since i saw it that like i i completely like forget like what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I think there's just so many fantastic moments, especially in terms of production. Like, like there's so many great subtle moments, like when he's laying on the floor with the pillow and the blanket, and he's got all the sound equipment around him. I think that's fantastic. But I also think like there's some like really spectacular stuff here, like when he's reviewing the editing thing, and then right at the the very first thing where you're like really introduced to like, oh, this is gonna be weird and special and cool, and he looks up at the disco ball. And the wh what? Right. What oh, just and, happened? Like, and and I I don't know if this was planned or not, but um, uh, but when 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 he says, uh, "Daddy made you your favorite," open wide. Here comes the content. When he says, "Here comes the content," the disco ball stops and then goes back around. Like it's like I I don't know why, but that that just that that just tickles my fancy like so hard. <laughs> Because yeah. it's like, like, here it comes again. And then, because it stops, right. slows down, and then spins the other way. I'm like, oh, I really hope, I really hope that was like an accident. Because that would be like the, <laughs> the best, like, like coincidence. Oh, it's just so good. So good that I literally got a tattoo from it. I got my first rib tattoo like three weeks ago. And it's Bo's glasses that say, apathy is a tragedy, boredom is a crime. And that design was by Remy Creations on TikTok. As soon as I saw that, I'm like... Okay, I have to get that. And if you haven't seen it and you're watching this right now, what are you doing? Go watch it. It is so good. Speaking of tattoos, I also got two more new ones. I'm gonna stand on my chair for this one. <laughs> I got an American traditional Polaroid and Baby Yoda drinking iced coffee. Look how cute he is. That one's definitely my new favorite. <laughs> also, I wanna test out the new upload time at 12 p.m. EST instead of 9 a.m. EST. I wanna try to shake up the algorithm some because my views are incredibly low for the amount of subscribers that I have. Y'all know that I've never cared about how many followers I have, how many likes, comments, views, whatever. But it irks me when I have this many subscribers, but this many views. Like, that doesn't add up at all. Because my views do not match my subscriber count. And I don't know what's going on. Either the algorithm just hates me, YouTube just hates me, or I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I mean, I'm loving what I'm putting out. I'm pretty sure I'm putting out high quality content. Are y'all getting notifications? I don't know what's going on. YouTube never tells us what's going on. Kind of get some view compensation here and there. So hopefully me uploading at a new time will shake, rattle, and roll the algorithm and finally push my videos back out there. Hope you enjoyed that trailer. If you did, hit that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe, and remember you can find all the links to the video 
videos and music down in the description. You can also find links to get some merch, how you can become editorial of the week, and how you can support me on Patreon. This week's editorial is Tyler Carlin at TyCarlin11. Thank you so much, Tyler, for being part of this community, for letting me co-host your podcast, and just for being a wonderful friend. I love you. Don't forget to be creative and drink your creativity. <laughs> Just to wrap things up, you can follow me on all my social medias down in the description. And a huge thank you to all my editorial patrons. If you want to find out how you can get your name featured in each trailer, check out my Patreon. I love you all, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day and are staying very safe and healthy. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!